Well, it's now official. I am above level 125. After eating all the vault burgers I had, which was definitely over 500 plus, it was crazy having almost nearly as many as we had before we hit level 100. But yes, I have eaten all those burgers. We are now level 127. And well, what does this mean for me? Well, at level 115, we unlocked strays, which are those uh, skeletons that inflict slowness and also have more health and do a little bit more damage in regular skeletons. At 125, we unlock vexes in our vaults. Yes, those pesky little evil things that can float through walls. Those things are now going to be inside the vaults. Oh, man. So I am kind of prepped for that. I think I'm, I've kind of prepped myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that is going to to work out. We're going to run some vaults and we're going to see how those things are. From what I've heard, you don't encounter them that much. So uh, for what it is, you know, hopefully they're not going to be too bad. Uh, but you may notice something different uh, floating around here. Yes, I did take some comments to heart. Some people were like, ah, your your rooms just don't look that great. They're not that interesting. And uh, so I decided to cover my entire mechanism setup here. And I just moved these forward and just have a pipe running to them, which is pretty straightforward. They're just running to the back. So if I break this in the side, we can actually see how everything is piped in minus this. I actually don't have these two things piped in just yet. Um, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to route. I may end up moving this to the bottom and then routing that forward. But yeah, those are still going to work. Uh, but other than that, it is, it does look pretty good. It is nice looking. I like this. It kind of protrudes at the front. And I also lined this with some caution tape, which I think really boosts this and makes this look really cool. So I did want to do something. Uh, there is still stuff I want to do with this room. This room is still not 100% ready to go. Uh, and I will be doing stuff with these rooms. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There is there is time for things. Um, just like I've done a lot of detail work with things like this in the back. Like this is another thing that I will eventually do some good work too. But enough of that. Enough of that talking. Let's talk about what we're actually going to do today. Because now that we've hit this level, I feel like we should not only work through our armor and potentially get some better gear than what we even have and see if we can. Uh, we should also, you know, run some more vaults. Like I did, I did, I did live stream today and did run some vaults. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to do that this evening as well. But we also have some points that we need to spec into. And I think we should start working towards this as well. Um, now, I'm also going to unspec from thorns. I feel like this was something that I spec points into that is not really doing it for me. I don't notice many benefits from this. So I'm going to unspec from thorns um, and potentially save that. Fatal strike, I'm not going to invest into, but critical strike, we can get this to 100% or 75%, which would be even better. And this would basically double my damage. Not to mention that I can also spec into strength, which is going to cost six points. And then everything else I might put into barrier or well fit. Possibly barrier. Yeah, I think this is going to be worth it. And then I was also thinking about ghost walk. Just specking one ghost walk and then, uh, you know, specking into ethereal. I think that is going to be the best. Giving us 14 of a boost here, which should be pretty good. Like it'll give us a speed boost. Um, we could get up to four. I just don't know how many points I want to spec into this. Um, but yeah, let's get to, let's, let me kind of look at all these and figure out what exactly I want to spend my points on. So let's go ahead and remove that thorns. Okay. So with thorns removed, I have 16 points to spend. I'm feeling kind of good with this and let's see what I can't do to deviate these points appropriately. So I think I have figured it out. I think I know exactly what I want to spec my points into. So let's go ahead and do this. I have 16 of them to spend. And uh, what I plan on is investing one more into critical strike, giving me 50% chance to deal a critical, which is really good. One and two. That should be pretty straightforward. Um, another thing I want to definitely spec into is strength. This is going to give me uh, plus three more, uh, which in a, you know, in effect 
Should give me plus six on that crit. So we definitely want to spec into that. That's going to cost six points, leaving us eight. I do want to spend one in Ghost Walk and then go Ethereal on the specialization, giving me plus one speed for right now uh, on top of the speed I already have. And the duration is going to be 14. That leaves us with six more points. It's going to cost five to, to spec into Barrier, which I want to do. And this scales 5% on our Absorption Hearts, which is going to help us since I did spec into Ward. And then I also want to give myself an extra heart with that extra point. And that is not only going to help this, it's also going to help with barrier. These two kind of work in combination together. And so I should end up with extra hearts. And now when we go into the vault, our ward, we may get an extra ward heart as well. The extra absorption hearts. So in theory, everything should be good. Now I just got to find a, a good key to use for our speed boots. I got to figure out what, what key should I press toggle that on? So now to see what exactly I expect into and uh, be aware, this is crazy. So I, I wasn't expecting the ghost walk to be this powerful, but just one tier in the ghost walk. This is what it's like. This is how fast we run with ghost walk. This is insane and it lasts so long. What even is this? What level speed do we have? Like, that is, that is more than just point one. that's more than one speed. That is something ungodly speed. I, I have no idea what, but it's so fast. I'm so ready to test that in the vault. This is gonna be insane. So before we jump in and start doing some vaults, like I said, I wanted to start working on gear and there was another thing that I was looking at. Um, and you guys have told me time and time again, Chosen, why don't you work on adding a banished soul to an idol? And well, I do have two idols that are really nice that I would love to have more durability on. And so this would be fantastic, right? And I don't know if you can use one on, on a, an idol that's about to break, but I do want to go ahead and try to use this on at least a Tenos idol. I do have some that are new. And uh, apparently if it does succeed, it, it gives it the trait Hallowed, which allows you to have a higher chance of increasing your favor on that, sp that specific one. So... I have leveled this up. I leveled up another one during the live stream and I leveled it up last episode, but we need to get this to four to be able to get the perks that I want specifically from that, which is going to basically grant us more loot from the vaults. I think it gives us a permanent uh, like luck and stuff, which would be really nice. But um, I've got to I've got to get this hallowed. So can I do this? Oh, I don't want it to follow. Let's set this to try. Can does this? Is this how this works? So does it have to be on a brand new idol? So here is a tier two idol here. It does not have luck on it. I just wonder. It's never been used. Okay. So you see where it says hallowed on it. That right there. Oh, and it took. It took. So on our first one, it has hallowed. Now, like it said, it does have a chance. It has a one in three chance to break the idol when applying. So, wow, we just got a really nice, like this isn't bad. It does have weakening cloud with that fatal strike damage. If we were specced into fatal strike, that would be devastating on that damage. But yeah, that actually worked. Okay, how many other, do I have more Tenos idols? I have this one, it's a rare. Hmm, wither immunity. Yeah, I think this one. This one, man, I was really hoping I could put it on one, but I guess that's not going to happen. It makes sense. Totally makes sense. All right. So with that, we should have better luck now. Um, speaking of luck, let's hope we get some uh, some good luck. I want to re I want to roll some tier two gear. And speaking of which, uh, tier two gear can now spawn. Now that we're level 125, it can now spawn uh, as unlucky. Uh, so... Uh, or common, sorry, not not unlucky, Un as common. So we should now get tier two gear that can also be common plus. Um, and that's going to persist as we go through. The higher level we get, the higher chance we'll have of getting like rare and then epic. I think epic is like in the 200s. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be crazy. And also, I just real I realized at level 200, you no longer get points from leveling up. You no longer get points to be able to use and stuff like this by just leveling up. So 
once uh, all the points we have is what we have uh especially once we get up to that point so first of all let's go ahead and open up all of our uh our tier two gear that we currently have and we'll hope for the best but i kind of have a plan i want to actually uh open up and create my own gear and uh and hope for some high tier two gear from that now there's a chance of tier two gear rolling so we'll see how that goes but Let's see what we got here. Did I get anything good? That's a tier two, even though it's scrappy. It might be nicer than everything else we got. Um, so it has reach. This is a common sword with 40% fatal strike. Um, this has slowness immunity. That's actually kind of nice. And some boots. These are actually pretty nice boots. The, that one repair, man. That's what gets you, man. That repair is awful. Um, these are also, eh, they're not bad. They're not great either. Everything else is pretty meh. Yeah. All right. So with that, I do have a bunch of other gear to roll. Um, but uh, this, all of this gear, except for the epic, I'm going to go ahead and roll as well. Um, I'm going to try and match as many sets as possible. Um, let's see. And if you guys were on the Discord, you would actually get to watch some of this. So if you did hop on over to the Discord and you do uh, kind of keep an eye out on that channel, on the public voice channel. I do hang out in there all the time. Currently, at the moment, I am in that voice channel. It's discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. You can join the Discord and hop on over there. And uh, I do live stream while I'm in Discord doing uh, kind of background stuff. So, pretty awesome to be able to check that out. So, be sure to do so because right now, that's what everybody's getting to watch. So, after rolling all that gear, this is going to be the fun part. Now, I get to take time and go, okay, what do I need? Um, and, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need chest and pants next because you can see they're about to, I mean, we have one more repair and they're done, right? Um, and uh, this gear is fantastic, right? This gear is, is great, but the chest and the pants are going to be next to go. And if they go, I want something to replace them with. Um, and so this is going to take some time, but we have pants here and I can make them with netherite, which I just set up and I processed all of my netherite. It actually got processed now that I had the power properly hooked up to it. So we have tons of netherite, and we also should have tons of vault nuggets. Like these are going to be pretty easy to make. Um, it does look like I may be out of diamonds. Just got to build myself some more here. And the reason these are out is because they're being used, as you can hear the machines, to process the thing we set up last episode. Um, but vault nuggies aren't that bad. Let's go ahead and craft the rest that we have in our inventory which is quite a bit like we we have more than we have diamonds okay and with that we should be able to actually craft them uh because i've been crafting them like over time so goodness we have so many stacks okay all of this is going to be well worth it because let's just go with the boots or pants for right now this unidentified has the chance of rolling tier two gear I just don't know if that chance is after it's rolled or while it's created in my inventory here. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep pulling out a bunch. <laughs> There's a tier two. Okay. So we did get a tier two. That's awesome. Can we, we can reroll it. So now that I know that it, it, it does work that way, I can go ahead and pull these out and hope that I get tier two out of them. Come on, give me a tier two chest piece. That's all I need. All this other stuff can be used for finishing our collections, hopefully. Come on. Tier two. And, and re-rolling this, there's a tier two. Perfect. So, <laughs> so out of all that, we end up getting this tier two and we got these tier two pants. I'm going to go ahead and open all of these. Hope for the best. This stuff, by the way, should roll like almost all epic. Yeah, it's rare. It's, it's yeah, it should roll mostly rare. Um, but yeah, things I want like this, there's like, oh, I don't want reach, but I would love like armor. That way I can use a fabrication jewel on it. I'm going to go ahead and open all this and then we're going to work on these two pieces and see what we can't potentially get tier two wise out of these because it's bound to roll something really good.
All right, so now the fun part. Let's roll these two. And like I said, if they don't roll properly, we can use a fabrication jewel and re-roll them. That is the good part about rolling this particular gear. So we have this and this one. This one's actually really nice. Oh my gosh, look at those repairs. And it has three unlocks already on it. I mean, but can we do better? These are both rares. I mean, we can definitely do better on the chest piece for sure. And we can definitely do better on the total on this one as well. All right. So uh, for this to work, fab fabrication jewels. Uh, we need to make those. So we'll take some fabrication jewels. And we basically, I'm going to look at my chest piece over here, for example. There's like, uh, this is a chest piece that we just rolled. And here's a chest piece we just rolled. Um, I can use a fabrication jewel on this chest piece. Not, not this chest, not the tier two ones. I need to be careful. On this one, which is 36. Which I don't know if I have... Yeah, that's that bone armor. Which I have both sets. Um, and can I not use the fabrication jewel? On it, on it. No, I cannot. Can I not use fabrication jewels on gear that I craft? I mean, we can try it on this piece. Fabrication jewel. Okay. It's not taking? Interesting. Maybe that was one I also crafted. <laughs> There's an Omega. Is that going to work? Come on. There we go. So we can get this. Um, and this is only for chests. It's going to have knockback resistance on it, apparently. Um, which isn't a, isn't a bad perk. Um, let's see. Anything else that I have on here? Like, this has nothing. It's a common. Um, let's use a fabrication jewel in that. Wow. It must be the ones that I crafted and I threw in here. Oh, boy. It's going to be hard to know what I did not did craft with. So after finding the appropriate gear, I think it just has to be gear that has some sort of modifier on them. Because like the ones that are blank that have nothing, they, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so I do have one for armor. This one ended up rolling nothing. So it's just like a random reroll, which is actually kind of nice. I'm going to do pants first. Because these, I mean, are kind of nice. It's just a little low on the damage. This is going to make it reforged. And then we can actually go ahead and reroll the armor piece let's do parry i'd prefer to have parry on here let's grab some bottles yeah parry is definitely the way to go i think i mean i wish i had higher parry on everything parry is nice especially the way that i run the vaults all right and we'll roll these that rolled an omega but it's it's not that wow okay no it is good it's 10 uh thorns chance has two repairs that is actually kind of nice that's an omega piece of tier two gear uh, yeah that's actually kind of nice okay that might be a keeper this ended up rolling with a ton of repairs seven on the legs which is a little lower than we have uh sorry seven on the chest which is a little lower two repairs i think we can do better on the chest piece I definitely think we can do better on the chest piece. Can I use the Nardican scroll to reroll something that's already been reforged? You cannot. Ouch. Okay. So I guess it, it is what it is. Like, this is definitely a, a step up. Ooh, but look at that. That is an Omega piece of pants. That is going to be pretty good. I just, I'm sad that I can't reroll. I mean, I figured with that reforge tag, it was going to make it so I couldn't reroll. Oh, bummer. But we rolled an Omega tier two gear. That's that's insane. All right. With that Omega, time to see what else it rolls. We'll throw this on here. Give me some good. It's the thorns. Ooh, it does have the 10% chest rarity on it, um, which is nice. It gave us a bonus knockback resistance and uh, the tiny thorns chance. Um, now, the chest rarity is really nice. I do like that. I have it on here. Um, but this armor is going to be really hard to beat the chest piece. This definitely does not beat out our chest piece here. This just has too many modifiers. You can't make this up. I just went to make more chest piece and look what I rolled. Yes, I rolled another tier two piece. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. 
This one's actually really nice. Oh my gosh, this one's really nice for an epic. Okay. This is definitely beating out this for sure. Look at those repairs. Oh my God, that, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Between the leggings and this, that's just 20 alone on the damage resistance. Okay, I thought we were OP, but we're far from it. This is actually a really, really epic roll. All right, we need Wu Tax for sure. Oh, I need to roll these. We need, what is it, four rolls? Uh, the only thing that'd be really nice to roll is a fire resistance. If we could roll a fire resistance, come on. That would, that, that's what we need. And this would be a perfect piece of chess gear. Four bottles. So we just need some bottles. Oh, I want to see this. I'm so nervous. This is like the difference between a, a perfect piece of gear and not. Come on. We, we got to have this. We got to have this. Plus one luck. No way. Plus five health. And another and two armor. This is an a ungodly piece of gear right here ungodly uh, who needs fire protection when you literally won't take damage from fire because of how high your damage resistances is what i'm so stoked so now that i've had incredible luck with that i'm thinking axe i could maybe roll in a good axe potentially like it's a lot cheaper to roll an axe than everything else i've been rolling so the chances of us getting a tier two this is right there. Pretty good. Okay. Let's roll the tier two. 14 base damage. Okay, this isn't actually too bad. It is, I think, already better than our current axe. Uh, but I don't like the modifiers on it. I do not like the modifiers, but man, that base damage is really high. Um, hmm. I think I have a scroll. Or an axe. This actually is an artisan scroll for literally anything. So I could potentially use that on this, right? Yes. And rejuvenate. It has rejuvenate on it, but it has multiple levels. Okay, this is still a common. Oh, we can see what this gets on it. But I still don't think this is going to be the greatest thing in the world. Like compared to everything else I've I've rolled, what we actually prior rolled, which had higher damage. So let's see. This has leeching, which doesn't help us at all. Fatal strike and attack. No, I want something that actually has just a high attack damage. I'm gonna keep rolling. I'll keep rolling these. So we get another tier two. <laughs> the luck. Okay, so this has high attack speed. Doesn't have a whole lot of modifiers though. Oh, we can, we'll try it. If it's just based on speed alone, it might be worth it. It might be worth it. Let's roll this. It has Leech, Fatal Strike Chance, Soulbound. None of this is that great. The attack speed is not that much better. Ouch. I couldn't help myself. I had to roll it again. It did take a lot more rolls this time. Ooh, 16 attack damage. With Withering Cloud and four. Okay, this might be the one I stick with. For sure. 16 base damage. I, I, I knew I felt weak. Like, I knew these things could roll higher damage mounts. That looks really good. Okay. <laughs> Man. You think, am I going to run a vault today? No, I'm going to spend all my time just getting better to run these vaults. I'm prepping myself for what's to come. All right. I hope, you, uh, hope you're ready, Mo. This should cost four levels. Give me something good. Okay. Oh, even more attack damage. And we have leeching on here, which I can't use, but that extra durability is really nice. And fatal strike chance if we ever spec back into uh, that. So I could always spec into fatal strike sooner. I, 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 can, I can always spec into it later on. The only thing it doesn't have is that, uh, that healing ability that our current axe has. But we don't need it because we have ward. That withering actually might be better on us because that's going to inflict damage onto our enemies. That could be really nice. We could also take this and potentially pull 
that withering cloud off but we can also pull off that damage honestly anything on here could be pulled off and i wouldn't be too sad minus that that damage oh we could risk it we could risk it we have some void orbs i'm gonna i'm gonna use the void orb on it void orb here we come please don't take off anything that i just take off the leeching or something not the attack oh good 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 um can it take off something else i don't know i sh should i risk it i shouldn't risk it i shouldn't risk it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna you know take advantage of what it had taken off which i think was the uh oh actually i don't i don't actually know what it took off Either way, it doesn't matter. Give me, like, speed. Attack speed. Attack speed. Oh, it gave me the fatal strike damage. Man, if we were respecting the fatal strike, we'd be doing real good right now. This is a damaging machine right here. Oh, my goodness. So, with sharpness on this axe, we are looking at 20.4 attack damage. Yes, please. That's what I'm talking about. This is going to hit hard. Ooh, look at that. With our chance of critting at 56. Ouch, man, that is doing some damage. All we got to do is get our crit back up. I think uh, the next couple levels, like definitely specking into max crit strike would be really nice. Ooh, we are looking good there. Between all this armor and wait, I'm, I am going to wait for this gear to break before switching to this gear. This gear is definitely going to stay right about there. That's a, that's some spicy gear right here. Oh man, I'm so ready. With this on, by the way, we are at 31 right now. This puts us at 36 while wearing it, which is just crazy numbers. Like crazy, crazy numbers. It, it's insane. So I'm about to step foot into a vault and uh, I have this one that I've been working on making and I, I just couldn't get for some reason any copious on it, which is fine. Copious is one of the ones that's going to be harder to get. It's a little bit rare, uh, but rich and plentiful still produces quite a bit. And I was thinking about combining this with a mine rune. So this is a chance of giving it uh, or has a chance of uh, putting a mine rune room inside of here. So this should be pretty fun. And I also have another crystal that's rich and plentiful. Uh, this one's got a little bit more negatives on it than this one does. But overall, this is going to be really fun, especially since I can run now faster through the vaults. Um, it has no negatives. So we're going to take advantage of that. And uh, hopefully we get a normal mine room. Today, I ended up getting a wooden mine room. I That one was painful. But still, if we get a mine room, I'm finding it. We're going to be mining it with our mining gadget or using our Terra Shatterer, we're going to destroy this room. So with this, we have our special vaults, and I'm going to be looking very, very, very specifically for that mine room. Oh, take a deep breath, and let's go for it. I am super excited for this. And keep in mind, Vex is a new mob that we might encounter throughout this vault. And hopefully we stumble upon that mine room. I'm going to be hunting for it. That's basically the main thing I'm after at the moment. And of course, this is the mine room. It was literally right at the start. And unfortunately, it is the one that I was like, oh, I hope I don't get. Because this mine room, I mean, is a lot more painful to get through. But I should be able to get through it nonetheless. Like, it is going to be a lot harder to get through simply because it's all wood. But I'm going to do it. I've got to spend all my time mining it like this. So I guess get ready for a time lapse.
so yeah i think that was uh that was pretty fun <laughs> that mine room i'm still sure there's a, there's a bunch of ore in there but uh wow uh that's a lot of materials we got three echo ore, like every ore like almost 10 of every ore yeah i would say that was a pretty good run for sure Woo! and uh unfortunately it was the mine room that i i wanted to test out the uh terra shatterer but i didn't get a chance to so oh well we'll save our mana for another room um but that mine room was insane even though it was the wooden one which is funny because i got my first i've never had one of these before i actually experienced this earlier today while i was uh i was uh live streaming like i got this very specific room and i was like wait a minute please don't give it to me again because oh there was a vex by the way look that's our first enemy our first one we've killed a vex oh my goodness that's the first vex i've encountered i did this whole thing and didn't encounter a single vex but yeah i was not expecting the wood room the wood room I can do without. I, I'm not a big fan of this particular room. So because you can't mine it out normally, you have to literally go through each level, which I did. I did go through each level and we now have tons of ore. Tons of ore. And I think it's time to definitely head back. So yeah, building up our ore is becoming uh, a little bit better now that we have the tools to literally farm rooms to like their max. Let's just see how much we now have oh my god 700 biniotites let's do just uh or let's see vault or <laughs> 700 laramar that's that's crazy numbers and we almost have like enough or to, to literally break the same amount that we had last time that's so much biniotite I, I haven't even needed any. Like, that's so much. Well, after that epic vault, it's definitely time to run another one. Except this one's a little bit different. This is just going to be a, a rando vault, so I could get lucky. I could not get lucky at all and uh, not get anything. I, it all depends. And so once we jump into this vault, we'll see what our modifiers are. And hope for the best. It's trapped, hoard, healing, fragile. It's actually not horrible. Not horrible. Let's go ahead and clear set and then set our waypoint and we should be good. Um, Afterlife, journey. Boy, a lot of these have been rolling journey, which is interesting. It is hoard, but nope. This is just going to be like a regular run. Notice the vex, but I should be able to evade it for the most part which is really nice. I found a tree room. One of my favorites. Absolutely love this. Oh, I still, I need to remember. I have my uh, ghost step, so I need to be using it in between vault rooms. Oh, that is going to be something that helps me get through these quicker, like a lot quicker. But that ghost step, man, that thing is powerful. All right, to use it in between rooms. Woo! Ooh. So fast. I'm fast, boy. So fast that I can't even... This is this is too much. Whoa. First obelisk. Here's our second obelisk. This will be our third obelisk. We're getting there. Next but not least, our fourth obelisk. <laughs> and our fifth obelisk, which was literally right around the corner. Oh boy, I am going to get to test this out. How many levels we have left? I get to test this out. And... Didn't get anything, but I did use my hollowed. I did use my one that's hollowed. It's supposed to be better. It's supposed to be. All right, I think I've had enough of this vault. I mean, it is it is nice, but it's also trapped everything. So I think I'm just gonna fight the boss and hope for the better loot for beating it a little earlier. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can't get my, uh, my guys to spawn over near me. There we go. Perfect. And I think we're ready to go. I get to test out this new ax. Look at that damage. And it hits it with withering. Whoa, he knocked me way up there, didn't he? 
and then use the execute right about now. Knocks him out. So good. That is actually really nice. And with that, let's see what the boss crate's given us. Uh, could have been better. We did get tier two gear right here. That is uh, actually kind of nice. I'm gonna go ahead and roll both of these. Both of these are tier two gears, but that was our uncommon. So we actually got an uncommon. Ooh, that's got plus three leech on it, which is great. 10 vault burgers. And uh, let's actually see how many vault burgers overall did we get? I think it was pretty good. If we take a look at our vault goodies, it'll tell us a lot of information. Ooh, we got seven vault diamonds from that. I'm not going to call that bad. That's actually pretty good. And we got a few vault burgers. You know what? I think we're looking pretty good so far. And this level up wasn't bad. And uh, once we hit level 50, we actually get a new reroll on our gear, our, our like uh, treasure that's inside the vaults. So I'm hoping that that uh, that treasure change is going to be better. And I hope it's for the better. That's going to be awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, give this video a huge thumbs up as that really helps these videos do amazing. And uh, of course, guys, I hope you have an amazing weekend. I do, however, want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And I hope I can find a spot on this tree as it is getting really full. Hey, look, there's a spot right there. And that is going to be a huge thanks going to Computer Coma. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord becoming a discord premium member not just any member a diamond tier member supporting this channel to the best of their ability thank you so much and of course guys if you're interested in joining the discord i i, I can't i can't mention it enough uh join the discord it's discord.gg for slash chosen architect and of course be sure to check out the merch site it is chosen store if you're looking for some interesting merch something cool some nice chosen architect swag i would love to see that oh all, by the way if you do purchase something over there uh, and you do get it in please let me know like post it over on the discord somewhere and ping me or post it uh post it over on uh twitter and let me know i would love to see it that's awesome that'd be super amazing but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed i'll of course see you in the next one and as always thanks for watching